Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to introduce how Repeater Builder is working in GreenShift WordPress plugin. Let's do our first task and we will make relations between two different post types. For example, we have community and attraction post types and we want to connect them. We will do this with plugin ACF and relationship field. But you can use any other plugin which has relationship type of fields. So in our community post, we just select our attractions and we make relations between them. Now I will show you how to show these related objects inside our community post and we will use repeatable block. I will choose our post type. Now we select field where we store our relations. Make sure that you select the proper type, in our case it's relationship post object. It must be the same as you have an ACF plugin. Now click on pencil icon and you can build your template for repeater block. Repeater block works as a constructor so you can place here any dynamic blocks. There are two blocks enabled by default. It's image and title blocks. But you may want to add additional data. For example, in our attraction post we have an additional panel with a text field. So how to add this in the repeatable block? It's really easy, just add another dynamic block. We will use meta getter. It's a universal block. To get different data you need to select repeater type and all fields which are available in our attraction post type will be auto-populated in block options and you can select them and show the data from field. Block also has all the grid options. Repeat the block can be used also in nested loops. For example, we can use it in Query Builder. In each item of your query you can show also related objects. Let's do this. Now we place the repeater the block directly inside Query Builder. Let's do the same things which we did earlier. Now we need to edit our repeater block and we will remove title and leave only images. Now you just need to select the proper field to map your data. After finishing, click on done button. Maybe we need some padding for this. We wrap our block inside container and add some paddings and now we have such cool representation of our communities with additional connected attractions. You can have also reverse relations, for example, you have products. And you want to write reviews in your posts and connect each post to products. Then you want to show these connected reviews inside your product. So connection will be not inside products but inside your posts. For this, we need to create another field for connections in ACF plugin. As field type you need to select post object. This is because we must select only one product and it's very important to have written format as post ID and not as post object. So we do this. Okay, now inside the post, let's just connect our product.
Let's also connect another post to the same product. Now let's see how to show these connected items inside your product. Now use Query Loop Builder because we need to show posts. Now the quick hack, you need to add the condition, it must be custom meta field. Now add the field where you store your connected item. And as value you must use this post ID parameter. What does it mean? It means that each product has its own ID. So we will show all the posts which have the same ID as the current product in the relationship field. In the editor you will see all the posts, but it will work correctly on the front end side. So this editor view is for preview, so you can test template here, limit the number, modify options. For example, you want to show not more than 3 items. Of course, you can also build your custom template. You can also change the grid parameters. We discussed this in our previous video about the query add-in. Now let's try to test this and you will see that in our description we have all the connected posts which we selected in the previous steps. And the last field that we are going to talk about today is a repeater field. So this is a group of fields that you can repeat in your posts. So for example, on the Airbnb website, we have such a group of fields. So these are the types of accommodation that this hotel offers. Sometimes this can be only one type or for example, two types and so on. So we need a group of fields that we can add unlimited times. So to do this in ACF plugin, there is a field which is called repeater and we will now add it. And now we can add the fields that we want to add to this group. So for example, we'll add an image then we'll add a price the field type here will be just text this one And the third one will be title. And the field type here will be text again. Okay, so we save the changes. And now we'll add the group of fields to our record. So as we can see, it is displayed as a table. So let's now choose an image. For example, this one. Then we'll enter the price and the title. And 
here we will add one more. And we click on save the changes. Then we go back to the template editor and now we'll add here a block which is called repeater builder. Now we need to select the field where the repeater data is stored. So we select post type booking. Here we select offers. This one. Repeater builder settings are very similar to query loop builder settings. Here we have the same options. The only difference is that here you need to select a field and not the selection of your posts. So once you have selected a field, the data in the block will be updated. And now we can click on edit here. And we can select the subfields that we need for these values. So for example, I will select here offer title. And as you can see, the data is being updated. And here I will select offer image. I will add here a price as well. I will use MetaGetter again. In fact, in most of the dynamic fields, it works simultaneously as a selection in the context of editing a template and in a context of a repeater builder. So if you add it to repeater builder, you will have repeater option available here. So you can select it. And if you have correctly specified your field, and if the data has been updated, you will get here a list of your subfields here. If we go back to field editor and if we look at the field repeater, we can see that we have five fields here. And the same fields will be displayed here as well. So you can select here a subfield and add it to each dynamic block of the repeater builder. But not all the dynamic fields support a repeater builder, but the main ones that you will most probably use like dynamic image, dynamic title and meta getter blocks work here. So here we can also add some design. For example, we can select a color, let's say this one, then we click on done. And as we can see, everything is displayed the correct way. So we save the changes. And let's now check how it looks on the website. So as we can see, everything works well. This is all for today. See you in our next video.